I am currently the acting uh, deputy associate director. I'm overseeing um, citizens oper analytical operations across the federal government and also uh, critical infrastructure. But early on in my career, I was installing a fiber optic cable, uh, crawling around in ceilings. Uh, so eventually I wised up and decided to go back to school. I eventually moved into network engineering, so I did a lot of enterprise uh, work uh, for various government agencies as a contractor as cybersecurity became more of a focus area. I went back and educated myself more and then gradually moved into cybersecurity. Under my purview, we have all of your internet responders that respond to like major cyber intrusions, that investigate malicious cyber activity uh, across .gov, but also critical infrastructure programs, which to me is like one of the, the most exciting things in the world because we get to see very unique Things. We're searching for threats, so we're constantly hunting for bad guy or malicious activity within enterprise environments and determine uh, exactly what these threat actors did in those environments, how they got in, and then we devise ways to eradicate them from those environments and also uh, implement plans so it makes it much, much tougher in the future for them to, to gain access. It doesn't matter which background or which perspective you come from because here at CISA, we address threats across 16 critical infrastructure sectors. And if someone happens to have experience in the energy sector or in water and pipelines, but no cyber experience, I find that we can train them to become cyber experts and their unique perspectives and background working with um, a critical infrastructure sector is, is very valuable uh, to our mission space. I really like to have uh, new challenges come my way so I can solve the puzzle. And here it says there's never a, uh, a shortage of puzzles to solve.